You met each other at school. <laughs> What, sure. what were your first impressions of each other? What did you think of him when you saw him first, George? Um, Keeping it as clean as you can. Well, it's difficult, really. And what did I first think of him? I thought he was uh, pretty loud. Uh, you know, brash, young you thing. You admired him, in other words. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought, now there's a boy I want to sit next to. Yeah. Actually, it's not the truth at all. I was ordered to. <laughs> and, uh, first time I'd ever been put in charge of someone. Yeah. I think it worked out well. Were you the Look big wheel in the school? Were you the head boy or something? I mean... What was he like? What was he like? Strong, <laughs> silent. <laughs> yeah, pimples. Actually, yeah, it was like, you know, all the stuff that you've read in the papers, uh, fat, ugly, spotty. Yeah. You know, it's all trying to get this ugly duckling image across, you see? Yeah. When do you turn into the swan? Well, you know, <laughs> this, is what, this, is, this is what we're uh, waiting to see. But look at you. Look at you. At, w at what point? Do you remember... Well, I, no, I hardly do at all, but you may possibly. <laughs> see, remember the old pictures. You had more puppy fat then, hadn't you? When yes. did you decide to shed it all, and how the, do you keep it off? I, w I went to America. I mean, I'd, when I see early photographs of myself, like when I was 16 and just starting, I, I didn't have fat, really. But, you know, when you start earning a lot of money and things, you start eating a heck of a lot better. And I went to America in 1960. And there, we were travelling day and night, and we were stopping off and eating sort of cornflakes and half and half, you know, that creamy milk stuff and cheesecakes and I came back and honestly I put on must have been a stone or so in a period of six weeks that didn't bother me so much but then when I started seeing photographs of myself and watching one of those early performances of Coronation Street and one I got a mention in, in one of the shows and this lady says oh I do love that chubby Cliff Richard <laughs> and I thought I don't I mean that was not the image I was trying to uh, but present how, how can you <laughs> I'm sorry Curling the lip and knocking the first row over. <laughs> it was really bloated. You were the scowling menace then, weren't you? <laughs> no, they say I smouldered a bit. Yeah. <laughs> now, the last time you were on here, you'd just come out of the old calaboose. Prison, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, did that experience, do you feel, do you any good? Or... No, it's not nice to be in prison. No. <laughs> Where are you laughing at? These people don't know what they'll have that after time. <laughs> yeah. But you don't feel it, did you any... Did it have a sobering effect on you? It d did me good, because I got £35,000 of it. You got £35,000 of it? Yeah. They paid me for being in prison. Who did? It's, it's <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Daily Record or something. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but money's never been important to you. No. Nah. There's one thing in my life that's not important, is money. What is important in life? Friends. Football. People. Football, yeah, still, yeah. The ladies. Uh, ladies are still important, yeah. <laughs> you keep laughing. I don't. <laughs> what about the booze? Is that important to you? The booze is still important, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Now, let me get the story right. The press claim that you claim to be the son of God. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes, you see, the thing is that uh, see, it's, quite, it's quite funny, really. You know, 2,000 years ago, had a guy called Jesus sat here and said these same things, you would still be laughing. It's really, really funny that we've not really moved on that much. Um, there have been many missions, if you like, over the last 12,000 years to try to free the earth from control by an, a force that is working against the Godhead. The Godhead is the basis of all love and wisdom and all the rest of it in the whole of creation. But there is another being, the Bible refers to it as Satan, the real name is Lucifer, who is trying to take over creation.